I apologize for the delay. We've had people coming in with all kinds of strange injuries, and we find ourselves a bit short-staffed. He seems healthy, but he's just not responsive to me. Or anyone. Well, let's have a look. Hey there, Orson. I'm just going to shine a little light in your eyes, okay? Aurora, did you hear? We found Orson. He's alive. I did hear. I can't wait to come see him. See him? Well, he's being examined now. I understand. But it's the Barnavarnet policy that social workers check on their wards, especially after they've gone missing. Truly, it's just to make sure that he's not suffering from psychological issues that require treatment or stronger measures. Are you talking about taking Orson away? Right after I just got him back? Oh no, no dear. I'm just trying to help. If everything is in order and Orson doesn't pose any threat to himself or others, you'll be fine. How's our usual time and place? Um, sure. That'll be fine. Ah! Orson! Orson! Astrid! Orson! Orson, no! I... Ms. Johansson, I can't recommend that you continue overseeing Orson while he's in this state. But... Orson needs to pass his inspection from the Barnavarna. I can't recommend exposing him to anyone right now. He needs to be sedated, for your safety as well as his. Drug the little bastard so he can't muck it all up. What... What did you say? I said he needs to be sedated. Maybe if his social worker saw the extent of his needs, they could help. If she doesn't see him, she won't know. If you don't let the proper people help him, then your son may never get better. Fine. But just overnight. Hey. Hey. Have they found your father? No. I doubt they ever will. It was like you really thought Ava was with him. Like he was trying to save her somehow. What happened with him? Right now, I just have to focus on Orson. I was wondering if he was up for visitors, but he must need time to rest. It's probably for the best. He's been... Uh, irritable. He's been through so much. We all have. I... I just wanted to come and say, as a mother who lost a child, <sighs> it's impossible to face. And so your mind dreams up terrible bargains for how to make it untrue. I thought that if I worked, or prayed, or just remembered hard enough, I could love her back to life. But despite everything, when that miracle does come, even if it's for another mother, to take that pain away for someone... I'm so, so happy that you have your son back, Astrid. Thank you, Olivia. Really. There's something else. I never got my justice for Asta. Since Ava disappeared after the shooting, I felt like I failed her. As a therapist. That's why I quit and became a police officer. I told everyone it was so I could make sure that wouldn't happen to anyone again. But that was a lie. It was because I couldn't help your sister, Ava. And I took my failure out on your family instead. And when Orson went missing, I think I let those feelings seep out and affect how I handled his case. Are you saying you sabotaged Orson's investigation because of your grudge? Whether it was conscious or not, I don't know. But I apologize. You, Orson, didn't deserve that. No, we didn't. And what? You want me to just let it go? There's been so much hate and pain here, Astrid. I'm just trying to find peace. You don't deserve peace! 
You think an apology is going to make what you did to me go away? You could let the hate live forever if you wanted. Or we could start over. Find forgiveness. A new life. Stay away from my family. Don't ever come near us again. Don't worry. I came by myself. Is this where you offer me my phone call? Or are you just going to skin me alive first? Locking you in here wasn't my idea. But you have to understand how this looks. You showed up out of nowhere with my daughter, who's been missing without a trace for weeks now. No one knows you or where you came from. I'd be stupid if I didn't have some concerns. Fair enough. What do you want to know? How did you find her? She was just wandering around by herself. I asked her where her parents were. She took my hand and started guiding me. I won't lie and say it didn't freak me out a little, but I couldn't just leave her. And why are you here, in Hope's Junction? It's a small town, and I've never seen you before. I used to live here, okay? But I saw the writing on the wall and got the hell out a long time ago. Then why did you come back? I got a letter from my brother begging me to come. Only he's dead. He died the year after I moved away. At first, I thought it was a sick joke. But the writer mentioned things. Things only somebody close to my brother would know. When did you receive it? A week ago. The next day, I packed up my car and headed back to this hellhole. As soon as I got within city limits, all I could see was fog. Crashed my car in a ditch. When I got out to look for help, I found your daughter. And she led me here. Where exactly did- Look, I've answered enough questions. Tell your friends to let me out of here so I can keep searching. I wish it was up to me. But it isn't. Wait! Please! 